cooking squad, I have a question for you. What is the most important ingredient you need when creating breakfast? Put that in the comments below. And if you are new to my channel, welcome to the cooking squad. Welcome to cooking with Jay. If you haven't, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe below and click the little bell. Also, if you haven't commented, then comment below what you think is the greatest, most important ingredient you need to make breakfast. Welcome back, cooking squad. How's it going? Today, I am making something that Chuck wants to see. He wants to see many different varieties of, well, let me first tell you something. If you said pancakes, you are right. If you said bacon, you are right. They're all important ingredients. But today, what I'm dealing with is different varieties of eggs. That's right, I'm dealing with eggs. I'm only going to do a couple of them because if I did 11 different egg styles, I would be here until tomorrow filming and you would never see this video. So, let me show you the ingredients you need to make this magical, uh, well, this magical world of creating different eggs happen. The first ingredient that, uh, that you're going to need and is the most important ingredient are these lovely eggs. Then you're going to need a pot, because we're using a pot. And you're going to need a fry pan, because we're using a fry pan also. So don't forget, you need eggs. For this, I would say get a dozen eggs, just in case you make a mistake or you want to redo it. But really, six eggs will do the most. So the very first thing you're going to need is a bowl. Your one egg for this. Ta-da, one egg a fork, or a whisk. It's up to you. I like to use a fork for this. So, the first thing I'm going to teach you how to make is nice, fluffy, soft scrambled eggs. Okay? Because there are different ways to make them. So, the first thing you're going to do is crack your egg into the bowl. Make sure you don't get a shell in there. Because if you do, that is gross. You're going to have to pick it out, which can be a difficult task if you don't know how to do it. All you do is dip your finger in there, and you remove it. Or you can use a fork or whatever. Sometimes it just doesn't want to come out. There we go. So now what you're going to do is take your fork, take your fork, and you're going to break the yolk. So breaking the yolk and you're going to mix it. Just mix it, beat it, whatever. Oh, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. And this is how it's going to look, if you can see that. You might not be able to. Maybe I should have used a uh, smaller bowl, but it's mixed in there. Now, with this, you have a few options. What you can add in to here is you can add in your veggies. You can add in, um, you can even add broccoli. You can add um, some frozen stuff in there. You can add chicken, you can add beef in there. It's all up to you what you want, even cheese, okay? That's what I love to do. I love adding cheese in there. So, what you're going to do now is you're gonna take your fry pan and you're gonna put it on the stove on medium high heat. So that is going to be, as we know, medium is five. So you're gonna go a little bit above it so it gets to the higher heat, but it's still in the medium range of medium high. Not high, but not medium. So you wanna do that so we can cook this egg. So let's get going, sticking this pan on our stove. So we got our pan here. We're gonna stick it onto our stove and I gotta figure out which one it is. So we're gonna use the two. So here it's got high, and high, medium, and low. So you wanna go in between the high and the medium. So we're gonna let this go, and we're gonna let it get it nice and hot, and we're gonna add some 
coconut oil because it's great with it. And we're just gonna let that heat up for a little bit. Now that our pan is nice and hot, we are going to add in our mixture of our egg. Boom, just like that. And now as it cooks, we're going to mix it up. So we're gonna need a spatula. Spatula as we got. So you're gonna just scrape this as you're doing this. There we go. We got our perfectly cooked, well, our cooked eggs. That's it. Took very simple, not very long to do it. Now I'm gonna show you how to make two different eggs in a pot. Now what we are going to do is boil our two eggs. So the first thing you wanna do is put this on high. I mean, literally you want it on high because the reason for this is we're going to boil the eggs. We're gonna do a soft boiled and a hard boiled and it's perfectly able to do all this because it's all cooking in the same thing. So once this is done heating up, I'm going to put the eggs in and you'll see what to do next. So I thought the process of this, of showing you the time lapse of the water boiling and everything would work out and I'm still waiting for it to boil and I don't even know why it's taking forever. I mean, look at this. Hardly any bubbles in there, like I'll even show you. Like look, hardly any bubbles in there. Hardly anything. I don't understand why, but once it starts boiling, I will come back to you. Okay, so I got it on the back element there. Maybe this will be a cooler time lapse. Let's hope so. But I'll still do a time lapse for the other one and this one. Okay, so now that our water is boiling, we are going to add our two eggs in there. Two eggs. We're going to slowly drop them in. I'm going to use tongs, because they're the easiest to drop them in without cracking them. Just put them in, just like that. Now you're gonna set the timer for three minutes because that's how long you want the first egg to cook. That's for the soft boiled egg. The hard boiled egg is gonna be another two minutes after it because you want them to be fully cooked inside. I mean, to the point that the egg yolk is cooked, the white is cooked, but with the soft boiled egg, you want it to be, well, the white, the white part to be fully cooked, but the yolk inside, you want it to be runny. So now it is time to remove the egg. We got our egg holder with our plate. Just gonna put it there and we got our spoon and we're gonna grab one of these eggs out. And place it in there. And we are going to crack the top. So you will see that the top is going to be fully cracked. Hold on, let me zoom out there. There you go, now you can really see what I'm doing. Now you can really see. So we got our egg holder, we got our a fork, 
well, I mean our spoon, and we got our plate. So we're gonna crack the top while the other egg is cooking for the other two minutes. Now you just, it's very hot. So you just gotta be very careful. So, there you go. Your egg is cooked. The white part is cooked, but the yellow part is runny. As I told you, that's what you want it to be. Mm. That is so good. You know, I'm gonna try some of it now. Mm. That's a good egg. That's a good runny egg. Mm. Nice. So we still gotta wait the last 30 seconds for our hard boiled egg. So the timer has turned, uh, has gone off. So we're going to turn it off. And now it's time to remove the egg and turn off the heat. And we're going to remove the hard boiled egg. Now we're going to place it on a plate, but we're going to do something different. I got a nice cup of cold water here. We're going to dip our egg right in there. The reason for it is to stop it from cook over overcooking way too much, but also so you don't burn your hands when you are actually dealing with the egg of removing it, well, removing the shell, because that can be very painful. I should know. I tried with the other one. So we're just going to... So we're gonna cut it right in half. Oh no! The egg is still yolky. That's not good. Not good at all. We don't want it to be yolky, you see? It is all still yellow yolky. And you want it to be nice and hard, but it's not. It is yolky. That is not good. So it means we didn't cook it long enough. But at least we made the attempt to make a hard boiled egg. It just means instead of five minutes, you got to cook it for maybe seven, eight, or even ten minutes, just in case. But now, I'm going to teach you how to make a fried egg. It's called a sunny side up egg. So, for the sunny side up egg, you're going to need to make your pan nice and hot as usual. So, we're going to put it on medium high again, and we're going to let it get nice and hot. But instead of using um, coconut oil, we're going to use butter because butter is going to make it perfect. So the rule is when you're doing with butter is a teaspoon for every two eggs, uh, for every egg. So I'm doing two eggs. So I'm going to add two teaspoons of butter and we're just gonna let that melt so you can see our butter has been nicely placed all there so now we're going to add the eggs so I suck at this I'm horrible at this but we're gonna see how I do it so you want to crack it once and you want to do it again and there we go, not so bad. So now we're gonna put the temperature down to a medium heat, and we're gonna put a, pot, uh, a top on top of this. So we are going to remove it and we're going to place it in a plate. So we got our plate and we're going to turn off the heat because we don't need the heat on anymore. But I'm going to need our trusty spatula because that's what we're going to use remove them. Now the, the point of this is you don't want to crack the yolk and I might have cracked the yolk there on this one at least. This one is perfectly good. You 
This is why I suck at it because I'm trying to get the without breaking the yolk. Okay, so there is one. And can we get and there is two. And there we go. Two perfectly nicely made. Oh, can you see that? Nice perfectly made fried eggs. Yum yum yum. I love fried eggs. I'm going to show you all these at the end with, with all five of them, what they look like, so you can get a real good idea of it all. So as you can see, there is still butter there, okay? We're going to use it because this is the next one we're going to do. This is going to be the perfectly good scrambled eggs. I showed you before scrambled eggs, but this is how to make perfectly good scrambled eggs. So all you need for this is your pan, as you can see, and one egg, because I'm showing you with one egg. So with our butter still in there, we're gonna crack the egg and we're gonna put it in there. And crack it just like that. And now we're just gonna break everything. We're gonna fry it up. We're going to transfer them into our plate, as we got right here. A plate, just going to transfer it all in there. Well, don't want that falling off. Don't want to be making complete big marks on there. Just going to put that in the sink for now. So, let me show you what the big difference is. These ones looked more moist. They look more uh, like, they don't look so dry. They look like they have life. They don't look so crappy. Now I'm gonna show you them compared to the other ones too. I'm gonna show you the other ones right now. So here is the difference. These are the ones that have, were just fried, uh, were scrambled earlier. They don't look like they got a lot of life in them. Now here are the new ones. Here, I'll bring them even closer. These are the new ones. They look like they don't look so dead. They look like they're more moist and they're more fluffy. And these ones look like they're dried out and old, which I don't want dried out and old. I want nice and fluffy eggs. Nice and moist fluffy eggs. That's what I want. As I always tell you, it's time to try the food. So, bon appetit. Gonna Oh, there goes that. So we're gonna try the perfectly cooked eggs first. Mm. Those are actually really moist. Oh, they're actually really good. Let's try the regular scrambled eggs. To be honest, they're not moist. They're gross. They're gross. Since I've made it with butter, my perfectly good scrambled eggs, I'm sticking with that. So here we go. For the nice sunny side up egg. Ah. Mm. There's part of the crispy part of the skin, of the white part of it. And now time for the whole entire yolk, because this is how I eat it with the yolk. Mm. Mm. To be very honest, I hate it when the yolk runs. It is no fun. But I don't mind if it's in a soft boiled egg that it runs. So. Here we go, we got our soft boiled egg. Take it out, and we're gonna eat it. Mm. That's a very good soft boiled egg. Very good. And here is our failed attempt to a hard boiled egg. Right here, it is 
semi-soft inside and the white part is perfectly cooked with an eggshell right there. How it got there, I'll never know. Yeah. Never been a fan of hard boiled eggs or semi-hard, just nice and soft eggs. Because that's gross. But I hope you enjoyed watching this video of me making five different creations of eggs. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, please click the subscribe button below and the little bell next to it so you can get the notifications every time I upload a new video, which is Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays for the long videos and Tuesdays and Thursdays for mini videos. Also, share this with your friends, family, and all your social media. And remember, you guys are awesome. You guys are amazing. You're one of a kind. You're beautiful. And thank you for being part of Cooking Squad and supporting me. And most importantly, remember is keep calm and cook on. <laughs>